Salutations to the whole elect out there, man. You Akim to Zadakim that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. I'd appreciate your mind. And uh, this week's topic is going to be entitled either the cat's out the bag or the truth on the death of Kasim Soleimani. Um, you got to put it out there, right? Um, from the beginning, that look, this thing that we're teaching is about the Bible first and foremost, all right? We don't really care about uh, Kasim Soleimani. He's not an Israelite, right? But the events um, leading up to his death and the post aftermath effects of his death fit into Bible prophecy because um, one, the scriptures speak about nations, um, the beast hating the whore. All right, pretty much all these different allied nations are going to come against that whore that's sitting upon the scarlet colored beast, which that whore is America. That same filthy woman that you read about um, in the book of Revelations is that same woman that was abased in the book of Isaiah, the 47th chapter. From a queenly like state to a, one of the most menial uh, job in society, all right, which is to grind milk. From a queen to grinding milk, you know? As it says in the book of Exodus, from the highest of Pharaoh to the maidens that grind milk, okay? Now, how does what's causing these different nations to hate America? And how does that link up with the death of Kasim Soleimani? Well, the truth has been put out there that, look, Kasim Soleimani's death was not because of um, a preemptive attack, which that concept of a preempt, preempt, preemptive attack is wicked in itself. Isaiah 10, chapter, first verse, you know, the, the things that the so called white man uh, prescribed and put into law. Are grievous, man. All right, and eventually it's esteemed as a potter's clay, which a potter's clay is not esteemed. Okay, kings are esteemed. You know, royalty is esteemed. Who gives two shits about a potter's clay? Uh, clay. All right. So the, the stuff that the so-called white man is passing and putting into law is not esteemed, man. Okay, but they blame the um the situation of that uh, K1 air base that was bombed. All right, as a preemptive strike by um, uh, was it out of people? Um, the PMU, all right, which is an Iraqi militia that is backed by Iran, but they're not really backed by Iran, as I said in a previous lesson. They're doing their own thing, all right, but they have mutual interest, and in, um, um, Iran will help them out from here and there, but. Uh, the news is bringing out the fact that look the, the type of you have two um, type of Muslims okay you have the Sunni and the Shia right over there in the Middle East the dominant one is Sunni Muslims now you have the small smaller majority which is Shia which is what makes up a bulk of Iraq and Iran Muslims now the that shit is like uh, deadly out there all right, now they're saying, wait a minute, how, why would uh, the PMU attack a K-1 air base when, one, they're allied in the same situation, and two, the Shia Muslim, you know, those, they'll get, um, it'll be hard for them to, to go out in that area. And of course, it's been revealed now that it's more likely that ISIS did it. Now, if you watch my previous lesson, all right, ISIS... It's pretty much uh, hand in hand with the Mossad, man. All right. In fact, um, Israeli secret uh, intelligence service is what the Mossad called himself, which is ISIS. And it's been proven that you have Mossad agents, all right, that go undercover as Wahhabi extremists. Prime example: Shimon Elliot, who posed as Abu. Uh, Abu Bakar al-Baghdadi, okay? And he's just one of many. And the so-called Jew has been doing that. When I say so-called Jew, the reason I call them so-called Jews is because according to the Bible, the real Jews are the Negroes you see here in America, 
all right, that have been scattered all throughout the world and have discontinued from their heritage has been prophesied in the book of Deuteronomy 28 chapter, okay, because of what they did in their past life. When I say they, I'm also included in that because I myself am a Jew, all right, of the tribe of Benjamin. But if you want to get technical, the Jew is the Negroes primarily, but the Negroes, um, West Indian and Haitians have been grouped together as all Jews thanks to the Babylonian captivity, okay? So these so-called Jews, primarily amongst the sect of the so-called Jews, you have something called Zionist, all right, which is a certain belief. Now, not every so-called Jew is a Zionist, man. In fact, you have so-called Jews, rabbis, that oppose Zionism, all right? They oppose the idea that um, state legislation should should make them the rightful heir to that land. You have certain rabbi Jews that believe the Messiah is going to bring them to that land. So they're still waiting on the Lord to come back. However, the Lord did come back, all right? Which he's also a so-called black man. Hebrews 7 and 14, he sprung out of the tribe of Judah. Then you go to Jeremiah 14 and 2. The Lord himself came out of that tribe of Judah, which is dark-skinned, man, all right? Kodor, dark-skinned uh, people. And it's, it only makes sense, all right? You're not going to have the second greatest power in the universe, our Lord, come back and be able to get sunburn and skin cancer from the sun. That just doesn't make any sense, all right? But the so-called Jew, all right, they have enemies over there in the Middle East because 35 nations don't recognize them as a, as a, as a state, man, okay? You have one nation that they're doing, uh, one nation that they're currently doing backdoors deal with is Saudi Arabia, which the House of Saud, the Saudi royal family, they're also are crypto Jews, okay? Whether they know it or not. Because what the so-called Jew like to do is he like to adopt different names. Like he'll take on the last name of an ethnic culture that he doesn't own. Heck, they stole our nationality. And they're doing that when they go on the cover with the Saudi Arabians and stuff. Just look at me like Cohen. Alright? But when you get into looking at a lot of prominent figures, you find out that they're so-called Jews, man. Abraham Lincoln, his last name was Springsteen. He was a so-called Jew. Alright? Lenin. Okay? He was a so-called Jew. I forgot his real name, but even this guy Akrasky. We started the uh, the bulk of the bulk of his revolution, which put Russia into that war. He was a so-called Jew, and I forgot his uh, uh, also real name. But you could, when you start to look up the real name of a lot of these prominent politicians that lead nations into wars, you find out that they're all so-called Jews, man. So the so-called Jew have been running this world through manipulation, financial um, dominance, financial monopoly. Okay, pretty much lies, and the Bible foretells that all these things would happen, and these things that I'm describing are indicators of who the wicked is, who Satan is on the planet Earth. Okay, and I can get banned for what I'm saying. My YouTube channel can get shut down, and guess what? They run YouTube, they own Google, so called, they own everything, man. Not at their own power, but at the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, Job 9 and 24. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Okay? And promotion doesn't come from the east to west, or whatever. Promotion comes from the most high. But Romans 9 and 17 tells us that the most high built this so-called Jew up, the so-called white race up as a whole, put them in their pedestal in their kingdom, that he may bring them down, just like he did with Pharaoh. Now, going back to the topic at hand, it's revealed that ISIS was the one that attacked that K-1 air base and killed the so-called American. That American was an Iraqi spy. Dude was about an American for about a year or so, man, all right? But that was to trigger the events uh, leading to pinning Iran as the world's bad guy. And to break up the deal that Iran was to make was about to make with Saudi Arabia because the trust between Saudi Arabia and the United States is falling apart, man. Okay? 
because the technology that Saudi Arabia is um, buying from the United States is very dated, okay? Their missile defense systems can't do anything against low-level drones and cruise missiles, all right? Because their defense, they, the, the defense systems that the United States and Britain and Germany are giving these guys are built for the 90s and 80s, you know, for ballistic missiles. Iran could attack Saudi oil fields using cruise missiles and drones. All you have to do is fly below radar. So this dude, Qasim Soleimani, was willing to broker a deal with Saudi Arabia. And Israel didn't want that. The state of the Zionists didn't want that, man. They'd rather have these guys fighting. And that's really their goal. Their goal is to have all these nations around us fighting each other through different ideologies over land, whatever. As long as they're fighting each other, we don't have to use our own um, people. Okay? Meanwhile, the rate of the so-called Jewish family over there in the land of Israel right now it's four kids per family. So they're trying to increase their numbers, man. And take over that area. But as it says in the book of Jeremiah, Bashish, a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod, which over there is right now Tel Aviv. And they don't have the true claim to that land. Okay? That's why, pursuant to the book of First Kings, the 17th chapter, all these plagues and calamity and wars that you see are going on over there and there will never be peace in that land you can't no matter how much siege you do against the so-called palestinians because they're not the real palestinians they're not the real philistines the real philistines are are the so-called africans today primarily of the sudan area or uh they're, they're not africans okay so as it says in the book of Isaiah, a veil or a covering has been put on all these nations of their true nationality and identity. You know? But everybody you see on the planet Earth come from Noah, right? And his three sons. So, biblical nationality does matter. And the so-called white man knows that. That's something he's doing everything to cover it. But we're doing work of the Lord and bringing out the true information of the matter. So with the death of Qasim Soleimani, that trade deal broke apart, okay? And Qasim Soleimani was, at the, was a top target on people that Israel wanted wiped out. The state of Israel has a hit list and Qasim Soleimani was at the top of it. They approached Donald Trump about killing him. Donald Trump refused. Because of the backlash, his agreement was, okay, I'll bomb him, I'll kill him if you kill one American. And the Mossad, they put it in motion, man. Now, if you have, if you're privy to this information, right, you'll think to yourself, how the heck can I trust the United States? How the heck can I trust the state of Israel to be allied with these people if they're willing to go through backdoor deals to wipe out top general and officials, man. You know? Without the declaration of war by Congress. That was a mafia-style hit, man. So that's putting these other nations in a sense of fear and a sense, a sense of distrust, man. That's how come it says, you know, Badiah, them that eat that, that eat that bread that was covenant, that had a covenant with, with you, they're going to they're gonna have to renege on that, man. Even your closest allies. I'm talking about the United States and Israel, man. Even your closest allies are going to turn their back on you. Because you can't be trusted, man. Really, as they brought out RT, this dude's death helped his goals of exposing, of, you know, of who's really pulling strings and who's the real terrorist. There was also bringing out the fact that if you look at Libya, right, which they overthrew Gaddafi, again, as a part of PNAC, Project for a New American Century, another enemy of the state of Israel, because of their oil, the type of oil they had, all right, it costs a third less to produce Libyan oil than Saudi Arabian oil. So they wanted Libya out the picture. How was that done? Thanks to 9-11. Man. 
And then let's see, and then and they put out the BS that that's because Gaddafi was using that wanted to de uh, deviate from the dollar. That's something he wanted to do, but that wouldn't have hurt the dollar. So they do that, man. They punch they punch out a lot of information because they know um, there's truth out there. So to cover the truth, you give out half truths, man. And then what they do is they get so technical and so deep with it because this man is very crafty. Is he'll set up a network that puts out nothing but bullshit news, right? He'll put out a, a network that puts out like 95% bullshit news in a, in a main media. And then when true information comes out, 100% true information comes out, what he'll do is he'll re release that in that outlet that serves you 95% lies, 95% bullshit. So when you see the actual truth, or you put the actual truth in a media outlet that 95% tell lies, people are going to say, well, no, that's bullshit. They always tell a lie. You know what I'm saying? So, as this dude George Orwell says, which that was his book name, telling the truth is becoming a revolutionary act, man. Why ban people? Why take down people's channels? Because there's power and truth. And really, this internet thing is pissing them off. Because they could execute a lot of plans quicker back in the olden days prior to the internet. Because word wouldn't get out. Now they have to do things to prepare for that. This whole thing with Kasim Soleimani was big. It was big, man. Killing a vice president, in a sense. Without the approval of Congress, that's an act of war. And who was behind it? Well, you guessed it, man. So-called Jew. So-called Zionist Jew over there in Israel, man. But really, the most sides are behind this, man. Because getting back to the topic at hand, this dude is this dude's death, the actions um, acted out by the Mossad and causing the death of Nassim Soleimani is furthering what we read about in Joel the third chapter. This World War Three, this this, this this gathering of all the nations. And why is it why is the why is it the Middle East? Why is it the Middle East, man? All these different superpowers. Russia, China, Korea, United States, France, Germany, all need a part or some type of peace, some type of alliance, some type of a deal with the Middle East. Why is it not the West Indies? You know? Why is they not fighting over Australia? It's the Middle East because that is the Valley of Jehoshaphat. This is where the Most High is gathering all these nations together that all have a certain stake or a certain interest with one of these different Middle Eastern countries, man. To set the stage for World War III because all it takes is thanks to something called entangling alliances, which is pretty much if you jump my mans, we all jumping in. That's the same thing happening right now, but a more on a more grandiose scale. You know? So the the cap the truth has been blown. ISIS was behind the death of this dude, uh, Kasim Soleimani. It wasn't a preemptive strike, all right? We know that ISIS, all right, is funded by the United States and Israel. You have, you have certain Israeli uh, um, agents that pose as Wahhabi extremists, all right, to instigate war, man, to create a state of constant de destabilization. These nations are waking up to it. And ultimately, it's going to trickle into a point where Big bad Russia. <laughs> one of their interests, one of their investments over there is gonna cause them alright to take down take on this bully. Ain't it crazy how a small nation like the state of Israel has a big bad bully and a smaller uh, country? I'm talking about when you in comparison, because Iran is not small. These two small Middle Eastern territories have these giant powers behind them. Just like the Bible prophesied, man. Just like the Bible prophesied, man. So this thing is true. Isaiah 55 and 11. His word shall not go out void. Isaiah 14 and 24. As he has spoken, so shall it come to pass. There's no counsel against the Mosai's word. 
Okay, so when the Mossad deems it time for this place to go, it is going to go. All right? And this thing is becoming more and more evident that this place is going to be destroyed. All right? In a coming World War Three. All right, so with that, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh.